Here we go, you guys. This is Jared with Douglas Plus. We just got this attic access. I just want to show you what we do up here. We put these little bridges in. You can see when we tighten them all down, we put an insulated washer there and then a washer on the bottom with a 3 8 nut and the all thread. And then basically you do that on all four sides. That's so that you can catch everything. Denver and uh, Scavuzzo here are gonna slide these in. You hook one side like so. And the other side goes in. And then it just locks in there. See, it doesn't, it doesn't take too much time, but you do got to be careful. The little blue tabs that you see right there, they have to be flush with the bottom of the drywall. So they'll start tightening up the washer and the nut. There's Denver. This is Julian. This is Fabian. Is Andrew. So we're gonna put another one over here in this this area right here of this upper floor. Um, this one's basically uh, gonna kind of do this outer area here and kind of shoot down into this little open room. This one here is gonna be pretty much for this landing up here. And then we're gonna do one more in the room back there, but. I'm just gonna record this and show you how quick it is to put this all together. So we're right at about two minutes and then Denver's gonna go grab the, the grill that we have kind of pre-ready over there. We're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver for that. So Julian has that in his hands. Go ahead and Julian, lay that flat on the ground over there. Do you remember how to open it up and everything? Yeah, so I'll show you how this works. No, no, Julian, Julian, the middle one right here. Oh. Open the middle one first, bud. He's gonna open this up, swing it up. You gotta do them both same time. Swing it up, and then Fabian, take that Phillips screw out there. Undo these little tethers. tethers. And then remember this this little lock here. They have a little lock. You just pull the lock over and then it just should just pop right out. Just lay that over there. Go ahead and do the same thing. Take that tether off. Go ahead and take that one off. I'm gonna show you guys how quick these are. We've learned how to do these quicker than a lot of guys. There's a hidden one right here. You got to be careful not to forget. This one's hidden. You got one on each side. But we leave, hold that, we leave the screws taped. Don't just take them off until you're ready to hang them, okay? Then you'll lose them. I'm going to give them to Denver. We'll be ready to go. And they're going to show you how these go on. So they have these little clips right here and here. And you'll see Denver and Andrew that are gonna just clip them on the two outer clips. And they even actually have a distinguishable little mark on them. It's really simple. They don't just self suspends. Let them have your screwdriver, baby. That's good, Andrew. You, the, the biggest problem we find with these grills, everybody, is the drywall. So the drywall is never perfect or the framing is never perfect. So you'll have a reveal issue. So what we do is we're gonna caulk around the edges, all the way around the, the edges here. And, and kind of be careful not to touch the ceiling. We did get a little fingerprints up there, but We'll have to wipe that down when we're done. That was amazing. <laughs> just, uh, just try not to touch the ceiling too much, you know, when you're putting them in. But I just want to show you how quick it is to install the cassette. 
we're right at about five minutes from start to hanging it to it being completed. So they're gonna hook the tethers back on. And this is the first step into the installation. Yeah, and then they're gonna lock the two locks. They leave it down until you get the outer ones on. These are positional too. If you look at the one Denver has, it has the little window on it. Yeah, that one's critical. It's for that box. And if you saw how that box moves around, that's designed to be like that so it'll fit in the back of there. Because if Denver flips it around one more time, I'll show you the little box. See, there's a little box back there. Yeah, let me get a better picture of it. It's got to fit in there. So when you're putting that on there, you want it to be able to wiggle into it. Denver's gonna snap it on. He's gonna put the Phillips screw back in. And so Scavuzzo's already got it done. Denver's, Denver's, uh, he's being he's a little, he's a being a little slow easy. because I'm trying to show everybody. <laughs> now he's actually doing a really good job. But look, there you go, guys. That's pretty much it. And then he's gonna snap it in. That's it right there. It's done. That's the ceiling cassette. And now everything else is going to basically be done from the attic. We're going to run the refrigeration pipes and tie them all into that. But we got two more to do. We're going to do the one over there next. But uh, just wanted to show you that quick video. If you guys like the ductless equipment and installation, give us a like, subscribe, and hit the, hit the bell button, okay? Smash the bell button. Smash the Smash like button. The like. Smash the like button. Isn't that what everybody says on YouTube? Smash it. Smash it. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, let's go. Uh, everybody should get these machines in their house. They're way better than traditional air conditioning. And they're, you know, zonable, controllable with uh, different kinds of controls. Your smartphone, instead of running over to the one side of the house to turn it up and down, you can grab your phone and tie it in and, and you know, adjust your heating and cooling set points from right there at the comfort of your seat. So anyway, this is Jared Douglas Plus. Off to the next one.